Welcome back to this second tutorial of about creating procedural shader in Blender works for Eevee and also for Cycles. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a, a nice looking good um, iron galvanized material and to do this let's jump right in and create some uh, uh, good uh, shading for our sphere. So first of all create our material, principal BSDF, name it properly, iron, galvanize, for example, and now we can try to work with some noise texture to create the, uh, the basic shape. I think the, the starts for this project is a Voronoi texture. So add it to my shader editor and put the color into the base color of my object. As you can see, we have currently set up the, the base uh, shapes of the, the material on, on, on my sphere. Uh, but I don't want the color, so to do this, uh, I simply add a color ramp node in between this, and I create the white and green version of it. Uh, I think uh, we have to scale it properly, so I I wanna reduce the these heights to something like 14, for example. And the randomness is good to, to leave it at once at uh, one. Um, I think the, the black areas are too much dark, so I reduce this value slightly, something light in between a grayish one, 50% could be nice. And, and here we are. Uh, second things to do is create a more uh, metallic effect. So I put uh, the slider of the metallic to one, and here we are. We have the base metallic effects of this material, and also I want to increase the specularity to one. After this, it's time to create some uh, bumpiness. So I create a bump node. connect it to the normal and with this output of my color ramp I simply drag and drop into the height of this uh, uh, material of the bump. I obviously reduce the strength to about 0 0.1 to have just a little bit of FX but not so much and this could be our basic shapes. I reduce uh, the roughness to 0 0.45 to create a more shiny look of the material. And now it's time to create more um, color variation in this flat design of this material. So to do this, I usually <coughs> add some texture. One is the Musgrave this one and I think it's a good idea to create a more small dots so I put the scale about around 100 set the detail to about 1.5 and the dimension of about 40 Lacunarity, maybe we can reduce it a bit to 1.5 to create our base material. Now it's time to add also a noise texture. This one. And tweak it up. 
a little bit. Scale it to 200. The tail to 15. And roughness, roughness to 0 0.66. Distortion will keep it 0 for now. Now we have to mix both of them <coughs> together, sorry. And so to do this, I, I create a mix node. This is the new mix node in Blender 3.4, and I set it up to color. Now connect the noise texture to A and the mass grave texture to B and see the result of it. This is our results. It's a mix and a combination of both of this, of this. and I think 0 0.5 is a good amount. Maybe 0 0.5 is, is good, yes. And uh, now we start to uh, shape it a little better because I have too much black on my on my surface to uh, so and this is gave me by the mass grave texture not from the, the noise one so to do this I add another color ramp here and tweak some textures to create a more realistic look of this and reduce the, the, the darker spot so I and two nodes the this this one maybe we can try to slide it something like this and not make it perfectly white this one more darker this one a little bit lighter and the last one slide it on the right just a little bit and make it more white something like this i i think it could be fine maybe just a little more dark as you can see we have created this color variation texture that we uh, now uh, mix with the the Voronoi texture to create a better look of our material. So to do this, simply add another mix node. Maybe we can try to duplicate it. Yes, works. Put in between my Voronoi texture and my base color. Move it slight on the bottom parts of my shader editor reconnect my principal shader to my material output and connect the result of this mix node with the two noise texture to the b value of my second mix node <clears throat> now we can try to increase and emphasize a bit the, the FX on my material by simply increase a little bit, maybe 5.8 works good, just a little bit the, the texture of, of the value B on top of the, the value A. That is my bonus based texture. Last thing to do. I think it's an important one. It's to create some bumpiness with these nodes here. So to do this, I create a new bump node and put it in the normal value of my previous bump node and connect to it the value of my, the result of my mix, the first mix shader. I mix a node, sorry in the height value. As you can see, the, the looks is very ugly, but we have to all, um, tweak this value to, to create a more convincing look. So I reduce the, the value of the strength to around 0 0.03 to create just a little bit of bumps on this material. Maybe I can try to with 0 0.03 three sorry 
And there we go. I think we have create a good uh, base color. Um, I think for an iron galvanize is a little more um, too much um, bright material. So I can add here a node to control the the value of the of my shader. So to do this, add a U saturation value. I usually use this because it's more precise than the the, the brightness contrast uh, node, and reduce a bit the value of my um, value of the, of the of this node, and uh, reduce the exposure of the mix of the the, the three noise texture that we apply to the base color. And uh, I think uh, it's good. Maybe you can try the FX to invert this bump to create something different. But I think it's the normal mode is the better one. And there we go. We have create we have created uh, our galvanized procedural iron that's work uh, for any kind of purpose from. Uh, renderings, uh, product renderings, and so on, and you can add it to your collection of material. If you like to support me and see more video like this, please uh, consider to buy the collection of this material that includes this material and, some, and more other material uh, on my page in uh, on Gamrond, and uh, I leave it uh, for you the description on in uh, the the link in the description of my of my channel see you at the next video bye